Hello guys, so Jerry speaking. Well, LJP is number 1309. Today we're reacting to Eric Rimmer Schnaggins of 1977. Episode number 55, SmackDown NXT Level Up um, Adventure for um, September 30th, 2022. We're at this beginning. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Live from the Big Beefy Man Cave in New Bedford, Massachusetts. This is a YouTube channel vlog show in which video games slash game show gameplays, along with sports and wrestling news, are the norm. This is the YouTube channel vlog show of positivity, good times, and fun. This is Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. And now, here's the host of the show, the perpetrator of these shenanigans, Big Beefy E himself, Mr. Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much, Mr. Announcer, for that wonderful, in wonderful intro. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. What's going on? Up in here. Finally, he said boys and girls. Hang it's on. Me, the Hang on. Finally, he said boys and girls. Continue on. And boys and girls, what's going on up in here? It's me, the perpetrator of the shenanigans. That's right. Big Beefy E, Eric Lima himself, and my Big Beefy Man Cave here. Here in New Big Beefy Bedford, Massachusetts. Hello there. It is Eric Lima shenanigans in 1977, episode number 55. October the 1st, 2022nd, that's right, 2022, October is here, it's arrived, fall is, uh, is in full swing, and we got yucky weather outside, it's been raining mostly all day, but, uh, yeah, I've been working, I've been working out in the rain, man, let me tell you, I, you know, as far as well, going to work in the rain, well, the other day I had my poncho, which was ready to go, but it was, you know, like I said, we needed the rain, you know, thankfully, uh, Ugh, um, no, you know, I'm hoping that my pastors got back to their uh, cruise when we uh, cruise safely and soundly, and uh, so that, because I think Hurricane Ian was heading up that direction. But yeah, the, uh, it affected so uh, it affected somewhat a little bit of a smackdown from last night, uh, September the twentieth, wow. two thousand twenty-two. As you know, next coming um, next Friday will be the season premiere of SmackDown. As you know, one the, the uh, one of the major matches. On that card would be the Intercontinental Championship will be on the wow. line once again as Gunther, the leader of Imperium, the champion, mm. mind you, will be defending that title once again against Sheamus and the Brawling Brutes. So a little mm. bit more on the Gunther Sheamus situation Good. as we go through. And also, Roman Reigns will be confronting Logan Paul face to face before their match at Crown Jewel. Okay. So, and don't ask me why Logan Paul is involved in this. And I understand he loves the business, wow. he loves the WWE, I don't know. Good, you know, if he wants to win, hey, you know what, that's, that's on him. You know, not not all YouTube uh, people could be, uh, could do something like Logan Paul did. You know, <sighs> I'm a wrestling fan, and, you know, sometimes, you know, we, uh, we all get upset when celebrities who don't know a thing about the business gets involved and all that. Uh, it's not the time, yes. Logan Paul was a YouTuber. He was great at it. Continue on. So celebrity wrestling fans out there. there. There are some serious celebrity wrestling fans out there that know they have that knowledge of sport. Like uh, you know, like Snoop Dogg and Bad Bunny. You know, they they say, Oh, we work with this person, that person, everything else. They mention a whole lot of people. So you know, it's good to see uh, celebrity wrestling fans, you know, and who know the business and everything else. So, mm -hmm. Freddie Prince is another one. Freddie Prince Jr., I should say. So, uh, so might I digress? Mm -hmm. So, we'll see what happens next week. Huh? Yeah. If you, you, you say Fresh Prince or Will Smith, you see one. Premier SmackDown right now. Let's talk about right, what happened last night, September the 30th, 2022. Then we'll go to NXT a level up. And a couple of matches will happen there. Okay. Ricochet and Mad Cat Moss. Uh, in that tag team match against Sami Zayn and Solo Sokoa. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and great matchup, but Solo Sokoa and Sami Zayn did pick up the victory. And they were, uh, Sami Zayn was hyped up, talking to Solo Sokoa. And then Jay, Jay Uso has his suspicions about Sami Zayn. It seems like Sami Zayn has been up to no good. Wow. What's Sami Zayn's deal? You know what? I think Jay Uso may be on to something, though. Even though, you know, 
Who knows? Who knows? Probably. And Karrion Cross cut a promo on Drew McIntyre as they both men, uh, physically, they're evenly matched. All right. Wow. The advantage Karrion Cross has is the Scarlet and Ringside, so she can play some mind games, but Drew McIntyre's got the edge and experience. Wow. As, as they prepare for their strap match at Extreme, Extreme Rules. Kayla Braxton, uh, Kayla Braxton interviewed Austin Theory. Austin Theory keeps um, yakking, his, um, yakking his jaw about being the money in the bank and all that. And then he starts dissing Drew McIntyre. And then the funny part was, Drew McIntyre snuck in behind him and kind of glared at him. I'm like, uh-oh, you're busted, Mr. Theory. Oh. And Drew said a couple words. You, me, in the ring. That's five words. Now. Six. So six words. Wow. You, me, in the ring now. Wow. Match happens. Um, Drew McIntyre beat Austin Theory. But Alpha Academy threw the company Theory uh, to, the, to, to his matchup. But Otis started attacking McIntyre. Gable followed, and all three men were started attacking McIntyre. And then Johnny Gargano and Kevin Owens got involved. Okay. And then, and then the Maxwell Male Models and Maxine Dupree. So then Max Dupree is starting to get that transformation back to L.A. Knight. Starting to be back to his uh, Eli Drake is self, so to speak. But, Max, but Maxine Dupree and, and the Maxwell Male Models were concerned about having a pose. And so they do the uh, they said the longest pose in Canada. Oh, then Michael Cole joked about it, saying, oh, they, they beat Edge and Christian's five-second pose. Mm. So, yeah, mm. we haven't heard about that one in quite a while. So. Wow. Michael Cole did a funny reference on that. Good on Michael Cole. Wow. And then... Shotzi cut a promo on Bailey and Damage Control. And Shotzi goes one on one with Damage Control uh, with uh, with Bailey. Wow! But before uh, I forgot to uh, mention this part. While they were about to talk to Max Dupree, Hit Row interrupts them and interrupts the whole uh, pose thing. It's, it's too funny. Um, Hit Row went up against uh, Los Lotarios after Los Lotarios disrespected B Fab in their party and uh, crashing their party. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna cheat here. And wow. Hit Row with the heavy hitter did defeat. Um, did did defeat Los Lotarios. Kayla Braxton interviewed Ronda Rousey. My heart goes oh. out to you, Kayla, on that. And oh. then uh, Ronda, Ra- and talk about, and Ronda Rousey keeps on calling Liv Morgan Hooters Barbie, which ironically, though, I don't think that bothered uh, Liv Morgan because Liv Morgan did work at Hooters before wow. uh, j- joining the WWE at one point. Wow. So, uh, Natalia went one-on-one with Ronda Rousey. They had a lot of history. Natalia was Ronda Rousey's trainer to help her get into the sports and entertainment business. Ronda Rousey did beat Natalia by submission. Liv Morgan arrives with a baseball bat, and they confront each other. Both women were brawling. And then, and, and then uh, Ronda Rousey walked away after officials and referees came out to separate. Um, mm. Owens, Gargano, and McIntyre were, were uh, talking about this. Gargano... And McIntyre were progress tag team champions. So, Excuse me. So Gargano had an old, another old friend that he teamed up oh. with, besides Kevin Owens. So it looks like Gargano's got his old, his old buddy to team up with. They were talking about theory, and then Owens decided to go off, uh, observing uh, the Maxwell Male models' uh, long pose, and he starts snickering at it. And then he go, walks by and sees Sami Zayn with the honorary new shirt. He goes, "You need a new shirt, buddy." Wow. And it seems to me that. The seed could be planted. You never know what's going to happen. We'll see. See you on. <laughs> Shinsuke, even Shinsuke Nakamura is saying to go observing the uh, Maxwell Male Models long pose. And Sonya Deville comes up kind of like watching the blur. Or was it Zaya Lee? I forgot what it was. I have to pay attention to that. But yeah. Shinsuke Nakamura. Go observing. Wow. Maybe he has an idea. Huh. Who knows? Imperium came to the ring, cut a promo on the brawling brutes. Now... Here's the deal. Uh, Seamus inter- Seamus interrupts Imperium. Problem is that Ridge, because of the hurricane, Ian, Ridge and Butch are stuck in Florida. So, but then he tried to hit the ring. Tried to, um, so he went out after Imperium, hit him with a slaley. But then Imperium uh, did attack back and mm. did attack back, and they were left standing. So wow. I think the war between Gunter. This is all the Imperium rolling boot started. The war between Gunter and Seamus. This is going to be a heck of a matchup once again. We'll see. Yeah. In fact, at Extreme Rules, it'll be the, a six-man Donnybrook match. And old-fashioned wow. Donnybrook, because anything goes in the street fight. 
You know, Imperium talks about the map being sacred, following the rules and all that. And guess what? You get you left your boys uh, with no choice but to uh, brawl, and that's what's going to happen here. Wow. Uh, then uh, Billy decided to um, re respond to Shotzi, and also due to the hurricane, of, you know, Hurricane Ian, Io Sky and Dakota Kai, the women's tag, the, you know, the WWE women's tag team champs were also stuck in Florida. So it's going to be just basically a one on one matchup where Shotzi don't have to worry about the other two accompanying uh, Bailey to ringside. Wow. And the wrestling world lost a legend. Uh, this was um, earlier yesterday afternoon. Uh, Antonio Inoki, who was also the, uh, a WWE Hall of Famer. Wow. Uh, he was the, uh, a, the first ever Japanese WWE World Heavyweight Champion, but it was not documented. So it was, un I think it was an unsanctioned match. He was not recorded as champion. Corey Graves addressed that. Wow. Which was very which is very, very uh, rare that he did that. It was shocking. But he did it anyways. And, um, yeah, so Antonio Noki was the first ever Asian-born WWE World Champion. He's also one, um, you know, you know, he also brawled with uh, the legendary Muhammad Ali, had a match against him, and founded New Japan Pro Wrestling. So, and he passed away at the age of 76. Rest wow. in peace, Mr. Inoki san. Domo arigato for all you've done for the business. <coughs> wow. And uh, Shotzi uh, went one on one with Bailey. And uh, then Bailey decided to use a ladder and attack Shotzi, which <laughs> Shotzi wins the match with disqualification. Bianca Del Rey gets involved in the matchup. And then Maximo Male Models goes on the record until uh, Max Dupree decided to hit a headbutt to Matt Swa. And he says, You gotta stop the clowning, we gotta stop winning matches. So that's my change. Yeah. And wow. He walks away. The main event, the uh, six-man tag team matchup, Kevin Owens and Johnny Gargano and Drew McIntyre joining up against Austin Theory and Alfred, Alfred Kennedy. We liked the McIntyre Theory match earlier on that last night. Oh, McIntyre, Owens, and Gargano did pick up the victory over the three sto the current three stooges of the WWE. Wow. Then we got NXT level up. Roof Fang went one-on-one -on -one with big body Javi, or Javier Bernal. And uh, Javier Bernal did, did pick up the victory over Mr. Fang. Kelly Kincaid, formerly known as Queen McKay of Ring of Honor, uh, who is now part of WWE, interviewed uh, Guru Raj, Ikki, and Jiro. They were talking about how, you know, uh, they have a lot of things in common. So I think Guru Raj and Ikki and Jiro will be a heck of a team. Wow. Women's action and level up Thea Hale of Chase U. Going up against Valentina Ferroyce, who will be without her partner, Ulysses Alito, after six to nine months. Because of the torn ACL and all that, so. Wow. You Lisa Leon has to go it alone, but she's not been good in singles competition because Thea Hale defeated her. So wow. Valentina may have to make a uh, make a change pretty soon. Main event tag team match match of Idris Inoke and Malik Blake going against Ikki Minjiro and Guru Raj and Idris Inoke and and Malik Blake did pick up the victory over Raj and Ikki Minjiro. So wow. that is all the time. We have on on for SmackDown NXT Level Up Event Center for December 30th, 2022. This is October uh, 1st, 2022. Next up, next episode, we're going to do AEW Rampage Event Center for 2022. For, for December 30th, 2022. As I helped uh, my good friend, the young Brad Alexander Go Gordy Scout, to live react. The last one. It's good. So, the live reaction from the last one. So, I'll see you guys later. So, I'll see you next episode. Until then, Mr. Announcer, take us home. That is all for today's episode. This is Mr. Lima speaking for Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. A big beefy E tour for Bob Saget Productions and in association with. A sweet, bumbling bofo raver telepictures and distribution. See you next episode, and have a very blessed day. So, everybody mentioned that gets of night 37, episode number 55, SmackDown NXT Level Up Event Center for September 30th, 2022. What did I think about this episode? I think it was amazing. So far, this episode was a success. Double Dose Reacts, episode number 1,200, 309. 
Hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned for the next one's gonna be Evergreen Mission Nuggets of Night 37, episode number 56, AEW Rampage Event Sir for September 30th, 2022. So like Sean, so Joe's box for baby. Your boy LGB asking for two. This is out. See ya. time I failed to really understand it. I never sought to meet the maker of reality. The one who gave the life that which is always happening. But I tried all the time. Was I the one to see things as I do under the moonlight and the sun? Perception is the question, and the giver holds the key.